once again you already know who it is it's your boy larry rob yes sir what's up it's jay hambino you know thanks for having me back bro no problem man. i appreciate you coming we got another good one for y'all so we talking about exercise and working out and weight loss so that's right. I, that's right. exactly that's right. you see your boy he didn't got ripped up but this is thing guys uh he lost 40 pounds over the course of a year and if you like me a lot of us we struggle with losing weight you know it's hard for my body to lose weight so he gonna tell us how he lost 40 pounds yeah so basically for me it was just a uh, really a lifestyle change a lot of people will tell you about certain diets that you can do and everything mm -hmm. you know but a diet diet is temporary it took me 12 months to lose 40 pounds Mm -hmm. A lot of people feel like that that might not be a lot of weight, but if you feel like that, I feel like you probably ain't lost that much weight. That's fast. You're like, that's you know that's a lot of weight. That's a lot. Because they say healthy, it's like, what, two to three pounds a week? Yeah. You know, so. Most people can't do that. That two right. to three, they can't do that. So, I mean, I think eight pounds a month is like healthy or whatever, you know, but like I said, it came down to a lifestyle change. I was in a, you know, kind of in a bad place. When I got I got real big, I ain't nothing but five foot nine from the ground, right? Okay. So okay. you know, at one point I was two fifteen. That's man, that's pretty, that's pretty heavy. So yeah, man. that's bodybuilder weight. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was lifting weights too. I was lifting weights. I was kind. I was pretty strong, you know. But I didn't look. I didn't really look the part. You he is real saying? strong, y'all. Hey, let me tell you, we was putting up weights. When I tell you we was lifting the weights, we was out there <laughs> like the Rock and John Cena. That was our goal to get stronger and stronger yeah, yeah. and stronger. Then next thing you know, we started noticing the weight loss from my man Jay, you know. So can you tell us, uh, as far as some exercise, what did you do to start dropping this weight? Well, when I really started dropping weight was uh, I did a lot of running. I kind of put mm. the weights down for a while, and I just did a lot of cardio. Because it started for me like uh, getting to the ship. You know, being on deployment, we mm. got a small gym. The gym is always packed, and I just yeah. got tired of that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? As far as uh, the weight room, you know, yeah. I got tired of the weight room being packed. So I would just go to the cardio room and just jump on the treadmill. You know what I'm saying? Just me, my headphones. I'm in there bumping music. You know, okay. just relieving all that stress or, or you know whatever I got going on. I'm just leaving that there. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Sweating it all out. About how many miles were you running per week? Would you guess on average? Probably about about around 20. You know Ooh, what I'm saying? I like 20 to jump miles a week, guys. Yeah. That 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 ain't yeah. easy. I like to do three a day. Three you know miles what a day. What 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 yeah. pace was you running at? Like if you can remember a uh, certain speed. Probably like a, uh, about an eight minute mile. Eight minute mile. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So I think that's probably like seven, 7.5 miles per okay. hour. Okay. Around 7.5 guys, three, uh, depending on how many times you work out a day. He said about 20 miles a week. You know, you can figure that up how many days you want to work out. That's real good. Were you uh, using any supplements to like help you recover or? No, not really. I did have a little bit of a diet though. I did like a low carb diet. I didn't do the keto diet. Okay. You know, it was a keto craze out there. I did try it because I had a friend of mine that was doing it. <laughs> I was trying to be supportive and I did attempt it. Okay. Um, but that shit's crazy. How, how did it that work? Did it when diet, you tried it? What did it? Uh, yeah, it worked, but I could only do it for like like three days, man, for real. Okay. It, it, I couldn't do it for that long because you can't eat. You're very limited to what you can eat. And what exactly is a ship. keto diet for the people that don't know? Can you give us a little rough? Yeah, it's like keto a, diet. It's like a, a scientific like uh, equation of where you got to stay under a certain amount of carbs. You okay. Know what I'm saying? I think I could only eat like shorty. My friend was telling me I could only have like 21 carbs a day. If you oh, ever read man, the nutrition label, yeah, you ever yeah, read the nutrition label, goodness. it's carbs and everything. Like, yo, it's, <laughs> it's really hard to stay under, you know, 21 carbs a day. Man, you, you was know? basically in like protein and vegetables then. Yeah, that's, 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 really that's it. it. Like, no bread. No even bread. certain vegetables, fruits and vegetables got carbs in them. Man. You know, and so you got to stay away from that. Like, I was eating avocados. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Grapefruit sound like Rick Ross now. You remember right. that video? <laughs> I remember that. So, <laughs> so was you, you were still hungry on that diet to stay under whatever how many carbs you you yeah. felt like you was hungry at the end yeah, of the yeah. day not only that but it was a drastic change as well okay you know what I'm saying? a lot of things you got to ease into it like it's got to be a lifestyle change not a diet you know you got to ease into it like like for me i noticed i just started out with like portion control you know what i mean mm -hmm. and now that i'm down to the weight that i'm at and, and and doing the amount of fitness that i do i don't get as hungry okay you know what I'm saying i feel like my Good. stomach definitely shrank and I, it's easier for me to stick to a healthier diet now i actually like being healthy now yeah. when I go when I go eat an ice cream or go get a candy bar, I definitely think twice before I do it. And I really don't do it anymore. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I kind of even when I'm done, I just be like, damn, that's not even. Yeah, you know, I don't even like that. Like it, it's something little, like as small as uh, between I drink shakes. The it's, protein shakes. Uh, oh, well, what I, shake? I really don't do protein shakes. I just do like a like a, a smoothie for like fruit smoothies okay. in the morning. Okay. So I did like 
like the small things where whether I had like did the uh, the almond milk for a little bit. I mm -hmm. tried that out, but I didn't like it. I just rather go to the water. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'll just use water because the almond milk would be a little bit more sweeter. And yeah. The texture was a little bit different. Mm hmm And I was like, nah, because the only reason I did that was for the uh the taste, make it taste better. Okay. And I was like, my body wouldn't didn't even like that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It, was just, it would just rather have the water. So, you know, a lot of times you just gotta go with uh, you know, what what, what your body tells you. You know what I mean? Just okay. Listen to that. All right, so as far as the exercise, is the is that a stress reliever for you? Because they they said that when you're happy, no matter what you're trying to do, if you're trying to lose weight, they say if you're in a good mood, you could lose more weight. And they also said if you're in a good mood and you're trying to get strength gains, you're gonna make more gains. So, uh, did the exercise uh, like improve your mood and, uh, from depression? I'm not saying you were depressed, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah well, no, it does. It does. It's scientifically proven that exercise does increase your uh, mood and it does relieve depression okay but however it, it don't know where to say that it cures it all right right yeah so you do have this other things outside of exercise that you got to do to make sure you got to head on straight because you know like i said it's a, it's a relief mm -hmm. so when i i might have a bad day at work i might get pissed off at work yeah. so i come home from work i go ahead bang out you know three four miles mm -hmm. come back i feel refreshed i'm a brand new person nice. but at the same time i still gotta let that shit go yeah because if i keep thinking about it you know it, it's gonna it's gonna piss me off again so you, you also have to you know have, make sure that your personal life is balanced and straight you know what i'm saying and before your physical physical life is good your your fitness uh life is, is good that's that's good that well. you could do that too because a lot of people they say they so drained mentally from the work like, I don't know, they probably got into it with somebody that by the time they off, they too tired to even get that workout. So you say as yeah. soon as you off, you go get that work in right away. Sure, yeah, yeah. Before I stop at the store or whatever like that, it might, it, it'll make sense to, you know, I pass the grocery store on my way home. Mm -hmm. You know, I might as well stop. But me, I'm like, nah, I'm going straight home. I'm putting, you know, I'm changing, put my headphones in, I'm out there, boom, I'm grinding, you know, I'm, I'm going to get it. And then there's nothing to run back up the street to the store for me, you know what I'm saying? That's a good but, deal. As uh, far as your cardio, you like to run about 20 miles. You prefer the treadmill, you like to run out in the open? Out in the open. Out in the open. Out in the open, yeah, it's something changing. Ooh. You can see different sites and stuff like that, like, uh, especially being in Japan, they got, like, shrines and stuff sometimes. Okay. When I do, like, these long distance runs, when I hit, like, you know, 10, 12, 15 miles, I'll stop at a shrine for, like, a little 20-minute uh, stretch and break. You know what I mean? Just look, look around, take pictures and stuff. That's like crazy. That. You do a, a 12 to 15 mile run. You could do that straight or you do you need to yeah, walk that, a little bit straight. too? I that, that that's crazy. It all depends on my conditioning at the time though. Like the last time I did a 15 mile run, I had to walk a little bit. Okay. But at the same time, the yeah. day before that, I did a Murph challenge. That's pretty hard on the legs because you got to do 300 squats, right. 100 pull-ups, 100 sit-ups, uh, 100 push-ups. So, uh... It all depends on, on my condition at the time. But yeah, I can do 12, 15 miles. That's uh, crazy. Consistent. That's that's crazy endurance yeah. right here. It, it's it's hard work. You know, I've been doing this for a long time. You know, I had to work. You know, get my level, get get up there on that level. You know, what I'm saying I started out slow. Mm -hmm. I started out small. You know, I was I ain't never been a runner until I joined the uh, the military. Even when I did join, I still wasn't a runner because right. it don't take number a mile and have to qualify. Okay. Right? So, but but I never did. I played football and stuff like that in right. high school. But you know, that's not a whole lot of running. Okay. Stop and go stuff. Former so, athletes, high school. Yeah. So he he got a little training already. Yeah. But I when started out at, at that mile and a half, you know, and then I would push that to, all right, instead of just stopping at a mile and a half, I'm going to do, you know, stop at two miles. And then it'd be like, I want to, I'm, I'm going to try to make it to three miles. You know, you got to always increase the level of intensity for yourself and, mm -hmm. you know, set a goal. Once you break that down, your mind's already on, man, I did three miles. It ain't, you know, let me do five now. And then every time I would uh, increase that benchmark, it would mm -hmm. be nothing for me. Like, I remember the first time I ran six miles. Mm -hmm. That fifth mile, that last mile was really hard. I'd be like, damn, like, I'm just, you know, push. You really got to push yourself. Yeah. You know, but then I was like, all right, I'm going to do eight miles. And I remember being on that fifth and sixth mile, like, this ain't nothing. I didn't did this before. So it's like, once you do it, you know, it, it just makes it easier for you. So you just, if you want to get better at something, you just got to push yourself to, to, to do it. To, and that's good. Learn. You hear that guy. So he said he, he might have started out at two, three miles, work his way up to five miles, six miles. So don't, don't just start off trying to be like my man jay you gonna catch yeah, a yeah. you know charlie horse you're gonna be out you're gonna be out of business <laughs> yeah, you might be disappointing yourself exactly man, but, okay so but stay with it though when you went from two to three to five to eight about how long was you doing it for weeks before you upped it did it take like two weeks before you do like two weeks of six miles uh, then so, move? yeah how, how was yeah, you so i was stuck on three miles for a long time right okay. so i was more conditioned than i'd even known okay than i even knew i was so then when i upped it to five miles and then I upped it, you know, I think when I did the six mile run, then like a, a day, a couple days later, I was like, I'm gonna go for eight. 
Okay. And then I did eight, you know what I mean? And then, then I was like, man, I'm gonna go ahead and do 12. So okay. it did take, I think it was like a week or two in between, you know, it didn't really take a whole lot. Cause I would do that eight mile run and then I would go back to doing my three, three to five a day, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So. Okay. And, and you said, okay, the exercise helps you with your mood. Uh, is there any other things that help you, you know, keep a positive mood that you could give <laughs> the people to help them to stay focused, you know, yeah, stay focused yeah, with yeah. these workouts? Uh, I like, you know, I like just being around my friends. Okay. Well, I like being around my friends, having a good time and stuff. You know, I got a lot of friends that will just mm -hmm. go be around these, uh, uh, bring me, you know what I'm saying? We got good, good energy, the energy levels match, just go have a good time and, that's good. and feel in that form of acceptance. You know, mm -hmm. being accepted by my peers, that's that's also another uh, proven fact, like right. medic medically proven or scientifically proven about us as human beings. We are social creatures. You know, yeah. you need to you need to feel social acceptance, you know, uh, in order to have you know a good spirit and, and, and you know, remain out of the, uh, you know, the depths of depression, so to speak. Right. That, so. That's true. And guys, a little motivation to stay in shape, you know, you're going to want to look good for your, your spouse or your, yeah, your friends, you yeah, know what I'm true, saying? Yeah, yeah. You might want, you want to look good when you're naked, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> does, yeah. does that help your mood? I mean, you know. Does the sex yeah. help you stay motivated? <laughs> of to, course, of course. Oh, yeah, uh, there yeah. you go. That's another thing. That's another form of acceptance. You there know you go. Saying? Once you once you go get it in right fast, you know <laughs> how many times you went got in like in the next three days you got a different swag about you. Right, you right. So you know what I'm that saying? Definitely you go, does. Uh, right. The, uh, go smack the girl too. cheeks. It's gonna be like, <laughs> hey, you are gonna feel real good. That's gonna help, you know, and that's gonna make you want to stay in shape. That's gonna be more motivation right there. That's one. That is yeah, yeah. one. Smacking, smacking cheeks. Smacking so, cheeks. Smack them cheeks. That's gonna keep you in a happy mm -hmm. mood, guys. So. Yeah. Get those up workouts there. in. That's, up there. That's on the top. That's on the bar. And also, That's like he said, there. he said, uh, being social with his friends, you know, say some of my friends hit me up. They be like, hey, Rob, I'm about to, we, we going to the beach today. We're going to be at the beach. It's going to be girls there. Got to go get a couple of push-ups. Exactly. Take that shirt off, exactly. You know I'm in mean? shape. I might be, I'll be ready. Yep. If I'm not in shape, I've been eating the donut, boys. I'm like, oh, man, y'all in the beach? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be at the beach with a t-shirt on. Like, you know what? <laughs> I ain't hey, about to embarrass myself. That's another with these thing boys. too. That's another thing. Your diet. Yeah. Your diet affects you mentally too. Okay. If you eating bad foods and, and a whole bunch of like sugary items, you're gonna feel sluggish. Right. That's also gonna also gonna put you, you know, put your energy levels down, you know, create a form of depression for you too. The better that you eat, the better that you feel. It's hard, but you got to that's stay fact. Uh, that's a fact. You got to stay disciplined, you know. That's a fact. You got to stay disciplined. And the more disciplined that you are, the easier it becomes. The longer that you stay disciplined for it, you know, it's it's, it's it gets easier. And they even say that in sports, guys, because he said he played football too. So they they had a phrase like in sports, they say like you look good you play good or and you yeah. look good you feel good you play good it, it all translates yeah. so you know all that translates you look good you feel good sure, you gonna have the sure. confidence to go talk to the girl that you want to talk yeah. to yeah that's a big thing you got to be confident out here yeah. yeah and i know exercising definitely does because i done lost weight and i do be getting a lot of more attention you know, i get a little bit more attention than i did back when i was like 215 you know now that i slimmed down to 175 i look a little bit better and, and uh yeah, it, it shows. I look at that. That's forty pounds, guys. Sure. And, and look, we not capping. That that's real weight loss. He yeah. sent me the picture. It's gonna be uh, the the picture that you see, the cover picture right. for this video. Right. It's really forty pounds weight loss. Yep. We not saying that just to get y'all to click on it. It ain't no angles or nothing yeah. like that. That's no real, angles. Real hard work. You know what I'm saying? Can can you tell the people? Cause cause like I said, I'm gonna try to lose weight too. I'm with y'all. About how many times a day were you eating? During this 12 month period that you lost 40 pounds, how about was it three meals, four meals? Yeah, yeah. Whenever when you get hungry, what yeah. was you doing? Yeah, around three meals a day. Three meals three, a day. You know, between two and four, depending on how how hungry I was or whatever that day. Okay. Um, but it's about portion control. Mm. You know, you can't just be overeating. Anybody who knows me back when I was, you know, 215 knows I was going out to eat. You know, going out to dinner, I was splurging. <laughs> I, ain't, I didn't care how big I look. I didn't care about my my weight back then. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would go out. I would order a little bit of everything off the menu, and I don't like to waste food. I was raised like don't right, waste right, food. Right, right, So I'm smacking everything. I'm cleaning the plate. Right. right. So I'm eating. You know, anywhere between between three to five thousand calories in one fuck in one day. Right. You right. Know? So and then it took it took one of my my good homies to tell me like, bro. You look like shit. <laughs> you're right. Like, right. You eat like shit. Homies, we keep it real. Girls like scared to say that. We gonna keep it real. Yeah, like, bro, what you doing? Yeah, he's like, bro, you, you're getting fat. You're getting out of control. <laughs> he's like, I know your arteries is clogged. Ah, uh, damn. Like, you need damn. to do something. And I was like, 
I, and like I appreciated that, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a real homie right there. I didn't right. feel like he was hating on me or nothing. I felt like he was really looking out for me. Right. You know, so I took that into consideration and I was like, all right, so I stopped eating so much. I stopped going out and splurging. And I saved money too. I used to be fat and broke. That's you good. Know what I'm like, That's good. Spending all the money on it. Bro, we had chilies doing it big. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> chilies is dope. That's another concept. We do a video yeah, about that's chilies. Right. We might do a video about yo, chili. Yo, so chilies. So let me say, let me ask this too. During this weight loss, <laughs> did you have to cut back on the alcohol? Uh, and beers and I don't know if you were I still I ain't have to. Okay. I didn't have to. You can still spurge a little on the drinking yeah, then. You can him. drink a little bit. Don't go overboard. Don't go crazy. If you got a problem, you know you got a problem. That ain't good for nobody. Yeah, it ain't good alcohol, for nobody. Alcohol ain't good for you. But I do like to be sober. And uh my workouts are way better when I'm sober. Yeah. Alcohol damages your body and your muscles. It does. So you can tell the difference between if you ever gone to work out with a hangover, you ain't pushing as hard as you would if you was, you know, didn't drink nothing but water the night before and had a healthy meal, you know. Like alcohol definitely kills your, your motivation and all that too. That's so, true. So as far as working out too, when you do lift weights, because during this weight loss, you was mainly doing cardio. So you had stopped the weights for the most part. Was you doing like one day a week weights? Maybe two of it wasn't mainly just running during well, weight I would loss. Go and do, I would go do weights every once in a while, but I pretty What's much, wrong? it was mainly just running. Mainly you know running. I mean? But so. ever since I did shed the weight, when I when I do go pick up the weights, yeah. like I do notice a, a, a change different. Uh, uh, I, know, I know a difference faster than I would when I was fat because my muscles is out there now. They ain't hide behind all the fat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm cut up. So when I do go and do a chest day, you know, I notice for the next couple of days, my chest is out there a little bit more. Or, you know, if I go do arms, I notice my biceps are standing out a little bit more than, than, than what it had used to. So I feel like anybody out there, if you are overweight, mm -hmm. I don't think your goal should be to, uh, you know, try to become a bodybuilder or, okay. you know, try to build some more muscle. I think if you are overweight, I think your goal should be to, sh to shred that, that fat. Get rid of that fat, and then once you get rid of that fat, then go ahead and try to add on some muscle, pack on some muscle, because it's going to be, you know, I just think that's the way you should do it. Yeah. A lot of people say that you can turn fat into muscle, which, come on now. Uh, you can, but I yeah. feel like you, you want to see that change. Go ahead and shred that fat. You'll be a lot more confident about yourself and, 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 and all that. Yeah, good deal. And, and guys, you got to remember, each person's body is different, so he's right. Like, uh, with the cardio, you knock that more cardio out, you're going to lose that weight but you know some people you might have to lift weights and do both you know this is how he lost it and i would take his advice because you see he lost the 40 pounds and now he's saying now that he is slim now he do work out more now that he got the fat off him now yeah. he live and the workouts benefit him more yeah. so you know do what works for your body i would say if you like me and you're trying to lose weight cut off on the alcohol because when this me personally you know it didn't affect him as much he could still work out and drink the alcohol with no effects but me when i drink alcohol i, I want to do everything i want to eat everything yeah, i'm gonna yeah, be too. exactly too. fast food I, I got the munchies yeah. when i drink yeah. i'm gonna eat fast food i might want to eat my girl hey hey hey, hey, <laughs> hey. I'm, I'm be out here eating everything you know what i'm saying so yeah, thing, if you like me yeah. Yeah, try to stay away from yeah, the alcohol. Be safe. be safe, man. Alcohol is not safe. We all know that. Exactly. Quit drinking. Stop drinking. It's not stop. good for you. Yeah, it's not. I ain't saying stop, you know what I mean? But don't don't overindulge in anything, uh, especially not alcohol. Exactly. For me, I wouldn't say alcohol does have an effect on me. It has a negative effect on me, you know? So it's not like it didn't affect me at all. Like I said, if I go drink one night, the next day my workout is poor. You okay. Know? But I have to work out in my mind because I'm sweating out the, the alcohol. I'm sweating out all the toxins and stuff like that. So I still go ahead and work out get a sweat going. But if I didn't get drunk the night before, I probably, you know, would have pushed out, you know, a couple more sprints or something like that, you know? So that's that's a good deal. Anything else uh, that you could think of? Because he said the, the exercise helped with the mood. The sex helps with the mood. Uh, do you do anything else just to clear your mind? No, read, uh, meditate, uh, yoga. Is there anything else that we could do? That, yeah, that... I, I do all that. Oh, see, he so do. To be honest, I read. Oh, okay. Reading helps keep seeing. I know when I'm when I'm reading a book, I do feel more intellectual. Mm. I feel like I can hold a uh, conversation longer. My attention span is a little bit longer. Um, okay. But, but basically, what I want to say is, you always have to have a goal. Mm. You got to constantly Get be goals. chasing a goal, and right you got to better yourself because. Because, like, what, what happens to water when it's stagnant? It gets nasty. It gets mm. dirty. It gets green. It gets yeah. grimy. You know, so you want to constantly be changing and, and constantly be stepping up a level. Don't be stagnant. That's good. You know, always always try to, you know, achieve the next level. And I would say, and this weight loss was pretty much for you, too. This is something that you kind of wanted for yourself. Say if you had a girl, say, 
she like you better at 200 pounds. She wants you to bulk up. Would you do it? Or would you be like, no, nah, I'd rather be slim because I want to be slim. I'm going to try shit. You going to try to bulk yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. Shorty want me, you know, a little bit <laughs> bigger or whatever. I'm going to try to, you know, do what it do. I, if I right. really like her, you know what I mean? I might go ahead and do it because at the same time, like I said, that's a challenge for me. Okay. Not only do I look better for her, but that's just when I get there, I'm like, yeah, I did that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I wanted it. I went and got it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. Okay, and this one, you probably, uh, you would bulk up try to that 200, but you would try to do it less fat. You would try to have it more lean muscle yeah, yeah. to the 200. I would probably jump on some protein. I would get some whey protein. You know, I would still watch my diet. I would have a good diet and just and start lifting weights. I would probably have to cut back on running because that's a lot of weight. If I jump up, I'm, I'm about 170, yeah. 175 right now. That's 20, uh, 25, 30 pounds. That's a lot of weight. Yeah. That's a lot of muscle. You know what I mean? So I might have to be like, Shorty, I'm sorry I can't be 200 for you. You might have to yeah. think of something a little more realistic. Probably like 185, 190 straight okay. muscle. It would take a while. Probably take about a year. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I could, I could make that happen. And, and all right, then guys, once y'all up to 20 miles, like, my man Jay, is there anything for his recovery? You know, he's still young too, so he might not got to do much for yeah. his body to recover. Any tips on for them to recover after they work their way up to 20 miles? How do they keep their body ready to keep doing these workouts week after week? Definitely stretch. Stretch. Stretching. That that prevents injuries before, all the time. Before and after. Before and after. It's okay. good to have a warm up. When you start that run, start off on a slow jog. You ain't got to go ahead and start sprinting. Okay. Uh, and then definitely hydrate. Hydrate. You remain hydrate. And then um, as you as you start to increase your mileage, your body's gonna adjust. Okay. So when you first start running, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt, right? Mm -hmm. you, your calves gonna be burning. You gonna get Charlie horses and all that. <laughs> but your body does adjust. Like my body, it, 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 it heals so much. My, I can go run three miles right now, and then tomorrow I'm good. I'll do another three miles, no problem. Right, okay. but I, when I first started running, I go do one mile. The next day, I got I need a couple of days of recovery before Man. I go out there and do it again. Right? Okay. So but your body does adjust; it does get better, it gets easier. I just had a friend, you know, text me and ask me the other day, bro, what do you do for your arches yeah. and your foot? You know where your foot arches at? He's yeah. like, Man, it hurts like a mother. Right? And yeah. I'm like, I'm like, uh, for real, bro. You could probably try, you know, just stretch it out, massage it a little bit, but just give it time. Okay. You know, just give it days. You know, uh, what they say time heals all wounds or whatever yeah right so you just gotta give it some time you know do some stretching um and a lot of times you just gotta push through it okay it might hurt yeah, but yeah. you just gotta keep muscle pushing. through it yeah keep pushing. you gotta be tough okay the last thing and we gonna go we gonna give y'all some more workouts fitness tips and stuff like that but the last thing for for you know for the homies what, what they might want to know but they scared to ask you okay yeah. since you lost the weight you did more running for, when, when they with they shorty would do that help you perform longer can you know what i'm saying i don't know now that you in better shape uh, with the lie. shorties does that help you in that area and you still the same uh, it don't really you it's, know it's kind of the same kind of the same okay but, uh but i mean yeah it's kind of the same kind of the same, same. okay really too much change. endurance either way either way with the I mean, weight I, with the... I, I sweat less <laughs> i sweat less <laughs> And when it's time to put that work in, I'll put that work in a little okay. bit longer, you know? Okay, okay. So he did yeah. say a little bit longer. <laughs> so y'all drop the weight. You might yeah. be just shorter. You may be able to go longer. Sure, okay, sure, okay. Sure. Man, once again, I appreciate my man Jay coming through. Yeah, not a problem. Right. I'm going to put his Instagram, whatever, Facebook, whatever he sent me, I'm going to put that in the description. Yeah. And we're going to give y'all some more videos real soon. I hope you enjoy this one. Get healthier. Get in the best shape of your life. And we'll see you soon. Anything hey, you want to? Hey, yeah, follow my fitness page. I just started it. Ooh. I'm getting started. So I need some support. I need some followers. It's uh, it's called Fit Tips and Excellence. Right. Don't follow so that. That's uh, Fit underscore Tip underscore Excellence. So go ahead, follow me. Give me a like or whatever. You know, I really appreciate that. Give me a share. Try to put me on because I need it. I'm gonna follow it right away. And, and look, guys, you see, you about to see the picture. 40 pounds in a year. That is crazy. Yeah. yeah. And, and I struggle with my weight. I'm at like. Uh, 210. I fluctuate sometimes. The lowest I'll be is 205 to 215. So I'm in the same boat as y'all. I'm about to try to start running like my man Jay. But man, once again, thanks for coming through. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe to both our pages. Subscribe, like, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, all that. All right, stay safe. Peace.